Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Eddie Bauer Sandstone Soft Shell Jacket. This is from Eddie Bauer. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys have been around for over 90 years making quality outdoor gear. It's very lightweight. It's stretchy material. It feels very good. And it has a lot of features that I really like. So, uh, number one, it does have really great, you know, side pockets that are zippered. It's not a waterproof jacket by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a wind-resistant soft shell jacket that's super, super lightweight and very comfortable. Um, I like the gray and green colors. And it does have this nice little Napoleon pocket right here. So that would be great for putting like an iPod in. And I'll tell you why or even your iPhone. You can put your iPhone in there on the inside of the pocket. There's a little pass-through right here for your earphones, which is great. Now, I have an iPhone 6 Plus. I can fit my iPhone 6 Plus right in there. No problem. Fits in there. I mean, it's a big phone. You gotta keep, keep that in mind, but it fits in there, no problem. I can get to it if I need to. Super easy. Zips up, keeps it all nice and secure. It does have little, you know, hem draw cords. So I can cinch this down if I really need to. I can make it nice and nice and tight around my hip. This way it keeps the cold air from kind of going up into the jacket, which is nice. Now the, the draw cord is only on the right side. Um, it does have plenty of sleeve. If you see that, it does have plenty of sleeve. It does not have thumb holes, but it's stretchy. This material is very stretchy and it, keep, it you know, basically it's just designed to keep the wind off of you fits all the way around. It's not a hooded jacket, but on the inside here, this material is like a micro suede, so it's super nice and very comfortable on the back of the neck. You know, if I zip this thing all the way up, so it's designed to keep the wind from going in, getting you colder. Really nice. I do like that it has this nice little storm flap right here, so that's going to help with the drafting. So the external of the jacket is a storm water repellent finish coated with DWR, so that's really going to help shed water and help, more importantly, for the jacket not to absorb moisture. So that's going to, you know, keep you drier, keep you warmer, you know, especially on like, you know, if it's a little chilly one day and you just want to keep the wind off of you, but you don't want a big old bulky jacket, this is a great way to do it. So the way they designed the, uh, the stitching over here, that it doesn't go over the shoulders. And the reason for that is when you put on a backpack, you know, that's the rub spot. So that's where they're gonna just rub through the stitching of any kind. So when they design a jacket like this, they're, they're keeping other things in mind as well as just putting a bunch of, you know, fabric pieces together to make a jacket. So because of this design, it's gonna make your jacket look better and last longer, which is what you want. You know, especially when you're buying a high quality garment, you don't want it to fall apart. Another thing that's great about Eddie Bauer's garments is that they give you pretty much just like a lifetime guarantee. I mean, if this thing ever falls apart, you contact them, they're going to take care of you, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Sandstone Softshell Jacket from Eddie Bauer. Here's a website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. If you found my video informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself or as a gift for somebody else, make sure you click on that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website, so I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Please leave those down in my question and comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up for me if you found it informative, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, trailermountain.com. In the lower right-hand corner, there's a little pop-up that's going to show up where you can put in your email address, then click Submit. When you do that, you're going to have access to my website as well as some exclusive content that's only on my website that's not on my YouTube channel. So it's the best way to stay connected to all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on. On a side note, I'm also doing a charity thru-hike of the John Muir Trail a little bit later this year in August. We're doing from Yosemite all the way to Mount Whitney, which is 222 miles, all the way to the tallest peak in the lower 48 states. We may be going northbound. More than likely, we're heading southbound. That's our plan. We're raising money for a great charity and great cause called Big City Mountaineers and the Summit for Someone program. And what these guys do is they take, you know, inner city youth kids, some of these kids have never been in the wilderness before at all, and they take them completely outside of their element and they take them out into the backcountry for a week at a time. Now these kids are completely outside their element at this point, you know, they, there's no buildings, there's nothing, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no bathrooms, there's, they're like, where are we cooking dinner? Right here. Where are we going tomorrow? We're going to go up to that 14,000 foot peak. And these kids are like, there's no way. But when they do it in a team environment, in a real positive atmosphere, these kids really thrive. 
and they're like, wow, look what I accomplished. Look at the view from up here. This is amazing. So Big City Mountaineers does a hell of a job, and they really, really care about these kids. So that's why we chose Big City Mountaineers as our charity of choice. So stay tuned to my channel because I'm also going to be posting a video of a massive gear raffle that I'm raffling off a bunch of gear from companies like Big Agnes, um, Olicamp, Boreas, Sawyer. A bunch of companies donated a bunch of gear, and we're going to uh, put the, all those together into a giant gear raffle. It's well over $1,000 worth of gear. I was going to do 100 but I thought that might be too much. So I'm going to do probably $50 for one and then kind of go from there. And the more you buy it, obviously, the less it gets. Um, but I'm only going to have a certain amount of tickets. So keep that in mind. It's going to be well over $1,000 of high-quality, brand-new backpacking and camping gear. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you stay tuned to my channel because that video is coming soon. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. <laughs>